Here you have the Torah tell us something clearly. This is one of 12 times in the Torah where Hashem commands us to observe the Shabbat. The Jewish people are, are uh, obligated to observe the Shabbat, but not just obligated, like it's a good suggestion, obligated that this is what makes you Jewish and this is what makes you not Jewish. So much so that the Torah says that you have to speak. He tells Hashem says to Moshe, speak to Am Yisrael, tell them, you must observe the Shabbats because it's a sign between me and you. Those that desecrate it will have death upon death. What is death upon death? If you die once, how can you die twice? The Chachamim teaches in the Gemara Masechet Shabbat that a person that desecrates the Shabbat has to understand what's at stake here. Their soul is cut off from their source, from their creator, which means, number one, any blessing that you have, gone. Even if you have a lot of money, that money will not be blessed. You'll have to spend it on medical bills. You'll have to spend it on lawsuits. You'll have to, in, a, in essence, give it to people you don't want to give it to. You'll die before you end up enjoying it. All of the things that cause people a nightmare of a life, that's what you'll have. You'll have you may have the big bank account digitally, but as far as actual real life enjoyment, you're not going to get from that money. Why? The blessing, the source of blessing is not coming. It's gone. That's number one. Number two, that person, that Jew that desecrates the Shabbat is not only cut off as far as the blessing, but is cut off spiritually in a sense that they put their Judaism on suspension. They are now considered in the same level as an idol worshiper. As the Rambam elaborates in Ilchot Shabbat, chapter 30, Alakha number 15, the last Alakha in Ilchot Shabbat, he says, a Jew that desecrates the Shabbat on purpose or worships an idol are the same meaning that a jew that desecrates a, uh, the shabbat is considered the same exact thing as an idol worshiper somebody that prays to a rat to a cat to a monkey to a cow like they do in india to uh to anything but god is the same thing as a jew that desecrates the shabbat same concept which means that that person cannot be used in a jewish ceremony for example if you want to get married and you need two witnesses and jewish ceremonies need two witnesses to sign the ketubah you cannot use someone that desecrates the shabbat if there is a court case you have you need witnesses in a jewish court case not a civil court case if the witness desecrates the shabbat you cannot use him as a witness even if he saw the crime he saw the guy take the money from you he saw the murder you cannot use him as a witness if this person is a you want to buy food you need to get, let's say, meat. If the guy that slaughtered the animal desecrates Shabbat, his meat is automatically not kosher. Even if he is the best butcher in the history of man, he is not going to, uh, uh, he's not allowed to slaughter the meat if that meat's going to be kosher. He could slaughter for the Arabs, he could slaughter for the uh, Christians, he could slaughter for everybody else. But for the Jewish people, he cannot slaughter. Why? He's considered an idol worshiper. So when a Jew desecrates the Shabbat, according to our Holy Torah, it says mot yumat. They have death upon death, meaning they lost a blessing. They lost their Jewish status. But worst of it all is that it's death upon death, meaning they die twice. Not just their status in this world, but rather their status in the eternal world. Meaning that some, a Jew that dies, a Shabbat desecrator, meaning they don't observe Shabbat, they see they drive on Shabbat, they smoke cigarettes on Shabbat, they work on Shabbat, that Jew, even if they were nice to their friends and generous with their local charity, and they even donated some money to save the butterflies in Africa, that person goes to Gehenna and never comes out. Until that neshama gets destroyed, until that soul gets destroyed eternally. So you have a situation here that is the worst of its kind. And it also is a situation where even if that person did the skula that we mentioned about before, it won't work. A rabbi gives him a blessing, it won't work. Why? All source of blessing. They have, let's say, just imagine, there is a spiritual pipe from the source above. Spiritual pipe coming down, connected to your neshama. That's where Hashem gives all the blessings. Okay? So imagine, you want blessing to have a wife. That's through that pipe. Blessing to have a husband, if you're a female, that's through that pipe. Blessing to have good health, that's through that pipe. Children, through that pipe. Money, through that pipe. Whatever it is that you want, through that pipe, right? 
you desecrate Shabbat, the pipe is cut off. What does it mean cut off? That means that the sustenance is coming down. It doesn't stop coming down, but it goes everywhere. What is it like? Just think of it this way. Just take a pipe. That's this fluid going through it. Let's say just, I don't know, your water pipe. What happens if you just decide to take a machete and cut that pipe off? Cut it right in the middle. While it's working, what happens? All of a sudden you see that pipe go all over the place, water go all over the place, or fluid go all over the place, the whole big mess, possibly a life risk. Same concept here. The sustenance keeps coming down. But because the person desecrated Shabbat, it goes all over the place. That money that you were supposed to get goes to your enemies. That blessing goes to your enemies. That girl you were supposed to marry, your friend marries her. That uh, kid that you were supposed to have, somebody else has them. All the things you were supposed to get go somewhere else. And whatever you get is not what you were supposed to get. You get a bunch of problems. You get a bunch of problems. So this is, Rabotai, one of the ways that a person can destroy the blessings that God wants to give them. Let me know uh, what you think and make sure to share it because other people need to learn too.